Jessica Mulroney has revealed the reason behind Meghan's secret trip to Los Angeles a month before her wedding, where she reportedly paid around $130 to set up Thomas Markle. Despite Prince Harry and Meghan Markle missing the Royal Easter Church service, their absence in 2018 created quite a stir. Although it was later confirmed that they were spending the holiday privately, speculations persisted. A new report by ABC News now offers potential insight into Meghan's whereabouts during that period. It appears that Meghan left London for Los Angeles before her wedding, which coincided with her meeting a Los Angeles-based photographer who took pictures of Thomas Markle. Meghan's actions also included lying about booking Thomas's flight for the wedding, and he was never sent an official invitation. Intriguingly, a year prior, a Markle family insider had disclosed Thomas's residence in Mexico in an article crediting the same photographer for staging photos at the same location. On March 27, CCTV footage captured Thomas meeting with Jeff Rayner, who persuaded him to set up the pictures. It seems that the first staged picture of Thomas, appearing to look at Harry and Meghan on a computer, was taken on March 29. Shortly after this meeting with Rayner, Meghan flew to Los Angeles, allegedly to discuss wedding dress sketches with Doria, just two days after Thomas's meeting with Rayner. A deal was struck, and the staged pictures were taken. It's important to note that Rayner made approximately $130 from these pictures. This suggests that Meghan's trip to Los Angeles was primarily to meet with Jeff Rayner, under the pretext of visiting her mother, and they planned everything accordingly. The story was strategically released shortly before the wedding to generate maximum empathy for her. The timing of the TMZ leak leaves no room for explanation, other than Meghan's involvement. Questions arise about why a royal wedding dress would still be in the sketch stages a month before the wedding, and why Meghan needed to be physically present, rather than communicating via Skype or FaceTime. These events were set in motion on April 4. While Ahmed Scobie gave an interview to Good Morning America, mentioning arrangements to fly Doria out and crediting Jessica for her role in wedding planning, Thomas Markle was conspicuously absent from the conversation. This omission is peculiar, especially considering the scandal hadn't broken yet. Thomas Jr.'s letter claims that his father never received the official formal wedding invitation. Meghan had lied to Harry about booking and paying for a first-class ticket for her father, despite him being in the hospital when Harry sent that text. Court evidence demonstrated that Meghan had lied in a letter, which Thomas ignored, and there were numerous texts contradicting her claims. Even Harry confirmed that Charles, the palace, and others urged him to speak to Meghan in person, but she refused to go. Meghan discussed her relationship with her father for the first time since her wedding during an interview with Oprah, where she revealed feeling betrayed by him for lying to her about speaking to the press and discussed how becoming a mother had changed her perspective.